All right, for this test, I've got the boom ground installed. Uh, these are not the Kyosho M24 blades. These are stock SD blades that I've actually filled in with balsa. So my theory about it just being those blades was for naught. So we're going to hover it. Now, it did not cut out in flight this time. So it is a slight improvement, but it's not as cold as it was last night either. But it's still dry. So we're going to hover it for a little while to let a static charge build up. The fuser light is still on. Alright, now when I bring it over and land and reduce power, if it does what it did the last two times, the light will go to the fuser and shut off. And it didn't. got out. It's on it. aren't moving, can't control the throttle, it's dead. And apparently this time the static discharge was enough to, to unbind it so it's not even just like a regular reboot, it's not going to come back. So now I'm left with a helicopter sitting there with the motor running and I can't control it, I'm going to have to try to reach under and pick it up and unplug the battery. Oh, it finally turned off. Let's see if it's going to come back on. Oh, it's back. There we go. Documented on film. Now I can send this to Horizon. Maybe not have to send the whole helicopter. Although I will if they want it. Okay, now we're going to get a look at the configuration in the test that you just saw. Um, these are stock Esky blades. Balsa filled on the bottom. So my theory of it just being the type of plastic that was in the M24 blades no good. Um, here is where the spectrum receiver is mounted. Um, it also does the same thing basically when it's mounted right here on the landing skid. You can see where I had the tape there. Um, <clears throat> gyro of course. And this is the grounding method that I mentioned. Let me zoom in here. This is copper foil uh, trace tape that is conductive, the adhesive is conductive and you can solder to it. This is, uh, underneath this heat shrink is a one milliohm uh, resistor and that goes to this little single wire that you see here that is plugged into the ground pin on the receiver. Now this was a fix that was suggested by someone on the groups and it did correct the ESD issue that he was having with his um, Gowie 100. Obviously it didn't fix it here, although the symptoms are better with these blades. Uh, it, it's not shutting off in the air, but still it's obviously, I don't trust it. So there you have it. <laughs>